Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Starfield. In the last video, we went and found the Rophocyte shipment. We now are going to stick a chip in our brain, the chip that has killed many other people. And uh, yeah, we're then going to go and infiltrate your blah, 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 blah. What are they called? I don't remember. They're called something. Limited. Unity. Lock, lock, lock. Also found something out. So, mm -hmm. I believe yes. the reason well, Andresia isn't using the gun I gave her. So I keep giving her this, right? And she isn't using it. She isn't using the Beowulf. I believe the problem is she doesn't have any ammo for it, basically. So I'm going to give her a single piece of 7.7 .7 ammo. And I think... Do I have 7.7? Yeah. And I think that um, that kind of like activates the gun, as it were. So, yeah. There you go. I'm hopeful that will now work. I might, I might, I might just take that off for just in case. <laughs> take that away from her as well. There we go. So, she's got one of those. She, you know, they don't use ammo. Your, your, your people don't use ammo. But Is I think they maybe need a piece of it to kind of like activate them in a way. Anywho, let's go stick a chip in our head. What fun way to start the Wii! <laughs> okay, press LB to open your scanner and target the person you want to manipulate. Press A to bring up your social skills and select manipulation. Once the person has been manipulated, select the object or person you want them to interact with. Diplomacy, instigation, intimidation and manipulation are all social skills you can activate with scanner is up. We should have seen this ages ago, but we have not picked up a single one of these skills. Hover your cursor over the target and press A to bring up your social skills. Set which skill you want to use with the D-pad. Okay. Am I meant to be making him do something? Oh, right, let's find a way to open the door. Okay. So... And then over here. Wait, so. Ah. Okay. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So I've made him pick up the keycard, and then we do it again. Success. We point him towards the computer. Go on, Marcus. The Marcus. There he goes. Look at him. Beep boop, beep boop. Wait, I'd have had this open half an hour ago. Come on. Oh, maybe it's open. Okay. Oh, he just used his keycard on the door. Yeah. Hey. As an observer, the effect is quite unnerving. It is hard not to immediately worry about the implications. Yeah, no one should have this power. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I think something's meant to be happening here. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, that was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How mm. to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, <laughs> just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. Again, morally this is. <laughs> so, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Reprehensible. Do you feel like anything at all to me? Yes. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. 
It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. Did it feel violated at all? Hmm. Not at all. But I can imagine if I experienced disorientation like that, but regained my awareness in another room. It could be a bit jarring. We'll definitely be running some more tests in the future, though. So many situations to account for. I'll never be comfortable with someone's puppet. Maybe that's the beauty of it. You'd never know. No, oh, what? Wow. <laughs> Besides, the neuro um, isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. I like you, Vina. You seem like a nice lass. Did and you yet you've created something assignment? truly evil. <laughs> Seemingly no regard for the consequences. Or the moral implications. Hello, buddy! Assertive beeps. <clears throat> Time update. I know people are very excited to, to continue hearing about this. It is 9.30 a.m. and I have slept. I really like, So today I'm meant to be training. I've not been working out much lately at all. I got like one or two in. Um, between my sleep and depression and the virus, it's been a rough few weeks when it comes to training. And today, Sunday, is my training day, first day of the week. Uh, first day of the training week, so I wanted to be back on I it. Got my eye on you. Shut up. So I thought, right, I have to try to sort my sleep out. So last night I popped 10 milligrams of melatonin. Which is quite a lot of melatonin, and I just, I said, I just forced myself to sleep basically, and I slept for about nine hours, something like that, I guess, a little bit less, eight and a half hours, something like that, and woke at a normal time. I'm dead. I'm so like this is the problem with taking loads of melatonin. This is why I don't do it. Even if I sleep a normal amount of time, I wake up utterly dead. <laughs> so I've got a couple of coffees, which I will be working through. Very low in caffeine, they're not going to make a big difference. They're not going to mess me up tonight, but since I'm not sleeping for another 15 hours or something, it doesn't really seem like a big deal. I'm going to take a little bit less melatonin tonight and try and just uh, maintain it. Keep it's the plan. Good, you're here. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuro amp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Ryujin Industries. Um. We'll make him wish he never heard of Project Dominion. Yarr. And wish he shall. Every day. While he rots away in prison. Alright. Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Um. Hmm. Option A, you need to remain under the radar the entire time. Option B, you have a slight cover that may give you the opportunity to talk your way to your objectives. Let's use option B. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. No problem. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. 
We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials. But Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Nero Amp. Okay. Please do. I hate to think we're putting our faith in the wrong operative. It Irony. is best to keep the public unaware of such a device. If the media were wrong. to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. <clears throat> Understood. Now, we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. All right. I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. Interesting. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Suit or no suit, I'll never know I was there. And that's what we're hoping for. If you can pull this off, even I'll be impressed. You're going to be Once behind bars if I pull this off a lot of ...and obtain the prototype. Your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. All right. It certainly will, and we'll have front row seats. So, any final questions before you go? Nope. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. My name is Skylar Lumen. Skylar Lumen? It's a terrible fake name. I want to be Heston Higginbottom or something. Alright, let's go talk to Thingamajiggy, security man. We can do some uh, corruption on the Wii! <laughs> on the program. And then let's go do our big operation. Actually, let's have a look at this suit as well. Okay, why was I not wearing a spacesuit? Weird. Why am I not wearing a helmet or a goddamn operation? Right, is it apparel? Oh! Oh my god, that's awesome. Wait, no, I don't like the helmet. The helmet doesn't do anything. But 25% harder to detect? That's pretty sweet i think we're probably and it's got 57 damage resist that is yeah we're gonna have to keep that we'll, we'll use we'll still keep sarah morgan's outfit but uh, i think this is our new typical walk around out well, not, not walk around outfit i suppose but yeah i'm really hoping i'm just gonna put this on the record now what i'm hoping for from this mission is a way to fuck my using over <laughs> right <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Infinity need to be taken down. They've done bad things as well. But Ryujin are doing terrible things. And even though Andresia doesn't seem to agree, the public deserves to know what they're working on this horrible technology and it needs to be destroyed, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm hoping the game gives me the opportunity to take down both. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's see what happens. Do you have the program? I do have the program. With pleasure. So, let's take a look. 
Dalton, I'm trying to drink my coffee. Don't make me do things. Aha. The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. So it is clear what she intended. Now all that is left is to decide what to do with this information. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Mm. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. Then it is time we use it. <coughs> one down, one's go. Time to pay fancy LTD a visit. Yes. I'm looking forward to putting this all behind us. Me too. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. Okay, I want to break it. I want what I want. Okay, there we go. I want to break into his computer. Just to make sure he's on the up and up, you know? Okay. So we need a one, two, three, four, five. Um, okay, let's see. Right, we've got a three that fits. So we have a two that'll fit that. Uh, that one in the bottom right should fit, right? Yep. Okay. We need a four maybe no, there's not gonna be a four that fits out we need a two and a two okay that two do we have a little baby two you don't have a little baby two hmm could do a three and a one okay one two three four five six so four and a two maybe that and do I have two that'll fit that? Nope. Okay, not that one. Two that three that'll fit that. Yeah, over there. Nearly there, folks. Nearly there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got two that fits. We've got four that fits. Over there. Don't have a three that'll fit that though. What about that one? <clears throat> Don't think so. A little bit nervous. Uh, no. Right, I'm gonna auto slot. I can't auto slot. That means I'm wrong somewhere. Wait, I'm pretty sure that was the same thing. I think it auto slots if anything fits. But if it's if it can't be correct, and I don't think this could be correct, I think there's an error. Miles back, basically. Wait, no, no, no. This this works, isn't it? Yeah. Security alert. Violation connected external device. Access and secure gateway. Or no external connection. Messages. Dalton. Tomo Higashi no longer with the corporation. Please cease the usual search and purge of his office equipment. Don't expect you'll find anything. Say proof of his own incompetence. We'll let me know if you do. Hey Dalton, one of my texts ran into interesting encryption. Hoping you could take a look and maybe tweak an algorithm or two to help crack it. You know, simple stuff, I'll owe you lunch. Dalton, I'd like for you to review the current security levels for our subsidiaries. I've heard rumours that Tayo engineers may have access to aspects of our R&D database that I suspect Vina had a hand in. While I support her wish to share knowledge, we cannot allow competitors to see this as a backdoor. I never had the patience for computer systems. Well, I'm not going to say that was the most informative hack we ever did, but... Um, I ain't waiting. It's just more time to doubt myself. I ain't waiting. So British. I ain't waiting, mate. Mate, mate. Come on, mate. Mate, mate. Anyways, you want Atlantis? And coffee? I don't know. It's barely a coffee. It's a frappuccino. <laughs> 
I just like cold drinks. Uh. Oh, this keeps bloody happening. Right, we're going to fix this. So, I don't know what it is. There's something about this part of my ship that keeps... um. That when I actually spawn in the ship, I can't get out. Like I can't, I can't crawl out. I can't get out. It traps me in. And what I have to do to get out is open the console, type TCL, which is toggle collision, as you can see, and then turn it back on. So I'm gonna change that for. I don't know if it's a size thing or what, but I'm gonna change the. Um, Anything I can help you with? I'm gonna change that part okay, of the ship and see if we can we can fix it basically. So. Is this over here? Okay, it's a hope for landing bay. I mean, it's a cool, it's a really cool landing bay. So I don't really want to get rid of it, but let's see if we can find a different one that'll fit and that will stop breaking. Man, it's just these are these are so much less cool. <laughs> oh, it's too low, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Wait, one sec. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. <clears throat> we'll just see if that one's going to work. Makes me a bit sad, though. Hey. I mean, I don't see how this is going to work either. <laughs> um, I mean, at least I can get on, but... Man. I think, I think the ship is too big. I think it's too long, basically. And that's why it's happening. I don't know. Here's what it is. Uh, right, let me check my inventory quickly. I feel like the stuff I can probably get rid of here. Why am I so heavy? What is going on? I've yet to figure this out. I guess we've got new apparel. Well, the actual weapon we've got. We've got the Nova Blast. Uh... I don't know, I'm confused by that. Onwards! It's not like it's an issue, I've got loads of space, but it's more just wanting to know why it is the way it is. Whee! I, I'm learning to love this boost pack. Especially if we can knock down, you know, the amount of fuel it takes and stuff like that. It's going to be really good. I'm just going to grab some digi picks from over here. <laughs> I do have to make sure I don't constantly use it, though. You can't use it for navigation in the same way that we have been. Oh, please, take a... Misc, did you pick, did you pick, did you pick? Thank you very much. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. You are so welcome. If you are in the market, who is that? Samson. It's amazing what passes as art nowadays. An art dealer? Indeed, I am. I've been an art dealer for most of my life, playing my trade all across the city system. It's actually why I'm here Sorry. in New Atlantis today. <laughs> I'll be delivering a piece of art to a very particular client later. However, I don't yet have the art in my possession. Actually, would you like to pick up the artwork and bring it back to me? I'll reward you for your effort, of course. Sure. Excellent. You'll be picking up the art from Zoe Kaminsky at the Trade Authority. Tell her you're there for Samson Jabrail's art. She'll understand. Return the artwork to me, and you will be compensated. See you. Interesting. It's a mission as well, so I'm hoping this will maybe turn into a bit more. I love it when people say she'll understand, or they'll understand, or whatever. To something where obviously they would understand. <laughs> like, tell her I'm here to pick up the artwork for this man. She'll understand. Of course she will. You've told her directly what you're there for. It's not like, if I'd gone up and said... The brown cat strikes at midnight. She'll understand. Okay. I've got you. You know, that is a code. It's something she has to My know about and understand. It reminds me, there's, it's li there's literally a joke about it in, um, in, um, blah, blah, blah. Another zoning meeting at mass has resulted in a stalemate. Um... I think it's the office. And Michael says, like, tell... Tell them hello. 
they'll know what they'll know what it means or something like that. It's literally the same thing, except it's done straight laced. I feel like if I'm gonna go for this route, that we should be wearing our um, business suit. If we're gonna try to talk we don't our way get in. Very many visitors here. It really makes the day crawl by. I like your hair, Desi. Hello. Did you have an appointment with us today? No, but look how convincing I look. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. My name is Skylar Lumen. I have an appointment with marketing. Ah, yes. From Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take you to the marketing floor. Once you arrive, you'll want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be happy to help you. Okay. Let's go meet Ellis Ortiz. This is corporate espionage. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is nice. Welcome to Infinity LTD's marketing department. Desi notified me that you were on your way. It's very if you just speedy. Have a, I can notify Miss Hart that you've arrived. Sure. Hey, Andreja, wait for Alice to leave. Where's he going? <clears throat> I'll go notify Miss Hart that you are here. Feel free to use any of the facilities on the floor while you wait. The break room and bathrooms are just around the corner. Yes? What? Oh, that's it. Go on. Off you, off you pop. I assume this is what I'm doing. Optional sabotage the heating system. Do I do that via this? When the computer on Luke's program, uh, editing access denied. Oh. Hmm. A reminder: we have our quarterly marketing review meeting. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay, well it's not that computer. Let's go. I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm totally honest with you folks. <laughs> right, I don't know. We're trespassing. I don't, I don't like the helmet. Do-do, do-do, oh. What do you mean, sound the alarm? I have a suspicion that Andre's just giving the game away a little bit, <clears throat> even though she's the sneakiest girl in the world. Um, right, I'm gonna need you to wait here. Do not have all the fun. I will have. Just, just, just stay there. That's you'll, you'll be fine. Let me just try this again. Because I don't know how I got detected there. I really don't. But I love that I look like Sam Fisher or something. <laughs> nice. I need him to go away. Okay, I'm just gonna save it. I want Andreja to follow me again. I don't want to. God, you can't. Sneaking in this game sucks. <laughs> <coughs> I can't. I can't move it. Like an, I have maxed my sneak out. Can I point this out? I've got maxed out my sneak out, and I'm 25% harder to detect. And yet, from this position where he clearly can't see me, in my huge amount of sneak, I can't run at like a decent pace. I have to slow crawl, otherwise he detects me. 
It is so bad. What did you need? I will watch your back. I have to move like this. Or he finds me. It makes no sense, man. There you go. <laughs> I don't think I changed was problem. I think I just moved too fast. Look, as soon as I start, look, look, the, the bar fills in so quickly. The sneak is so underpowered. I think they kind of, because there's a big criticism in Skyrim and stuff like that, sneak was overpowered. You could sneak around right in front of people's faces all the time and never get detected. So I suspect they've maybe overcounted for I that a little bit. suppose that is ours now. Yes, it is. Thank you, Adrian. Well noticed. <laughs> right. Maintenance for port critical systems. Heating. Activate. Yes. Gas leak detected. All non-essential personnel must evacuate the building. Please find the nearest exit and contact emergency services. Okay. Now we just need to find a way into R&D and then into the executive level as well. Let's save up and get to work. Like, if the sneak worked a little bit better, these missions would be more enjoyable. I mean, I'm not going to keep going on about it, but it does annoy me. Like, I should be able to at least crawl, especially with, like, what's going on? What are you on about? Who could possibly have seen me there? Seriously? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, my God. I'm just going to save scum and... Like, this should not be a concern when I've got maxed out sneak and I'm crawling the entire way. That way, isn't it? Like, look at where I am. In this, in this, in the special suit with the maxed out sneak. How, what is the possible justification? There's no one here, for God's sake. <laughs> All right, save. <clears throat> grumble, grumble, grumble. If I put no points to sneak, I'd accept this. But I have, so it's annoying me. And the only thing we're missing or sneaking is like... Fuck's sake. I even have the thing in sneak that when I open a door, it doesn't alert people. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> There's a reason that one of the first mods posted for this game... It's, it's an overhaul of sneak. Okay, so there's someone like there, right? So I'm gonna open the door. Okay, there we go. Safe. I'm just gonna save scum our way through. Why? What? I fucking hate this game sometimes. <laughs> and Tracia is the sneaky companion. She literally blends in with the environment. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you don't want me to sneak? I won't goddamn sneak. I'll do it my own goddamn way. <laughs> oh, that was wrong. Wait, how's that wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has to be a three and a three. It just doesn't go there, does it? It goes somewhere else. Uh... Oh. <laughs> 
Lucas's this computer. Step one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We need a three and a two. Uh, which one? Well, that's the one. It has to be that one. And then a three and a two again. Like, I, I'm sure some people will look at this and think I'm doing something wrong. And I, I probably should have left Andresia behind. Because he's clearly what disturbed them there, right? But Andresia has max level stealth. She blends in with the environment. You know, it even said at the start of this mission, unless you have a particularly sneaky companion, leave them behind. Andresia is the sneakiest companion, for God's sake. Find a way into R and D. Hey, Treasure. This is fine. I'm a ninja. <laughs> It's just not how I wanted the mission to go, okay? I liked the idea of sneaking around Mission Impossible style. Do -do, do -do. Nope, whoop. Why not have a space suit on us? Like, how come I'm getting killed by the, the gas and they're not? Out of curiosity. <clears throat> Find an R and D ID card. Okay. How do I get in there? Uh, this way. Aha! Is that phase RD? Yeah, okay. Run the program. Phase computer. Obviously a program. Lovely, lovely. Okay, and then we just need to grab the prototype and get the heck and heck out of here. Such a ninja, it's crazy. <laughs> Your way out? Oh, maybe not. Oh, don't though. Okay, time to leave. Oh, time to loot and then leave. No, let's let's just get out of here. Okay, it's clearly a bad place to be right now. <sighs> My um. You can see it, unless we're getting absolutely shredded by really high level characters, you can see that my damage resistance is really good. Like, you saw those people shoot. Like, uh, did we just walk out of the building? Yeah, we're just gonna walk out. Alright. <laughs> good job, Andreja. <laughs> a goddamn ninja. I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like I should be able to bring my companion along. <clears throat> As you can see, it's it's an interesting one because at one end I think we could have changed things around and made that viable, right? We could have made that work if we just dropped Andresia. On the other hand, I don't feel like I should have to, and I'm very stubborn, so <laughs> I'd rather 
to suffer for it. But you know what? We only killed a few people. It could have been worse. Oh, we do finally. I wondered all that time ago whether David would ever be important. Of course, it's this lad. Ever find yourself with a hot lead? We will do our best to protect your anonymity. Can I help you? I have a new story for you. Well, I'll be the judge of that. What's this so-called story about? <clears throat> Infinity Limited is growing body count due to unauthorized human trials. Corporate greed claims victims once more. And you have evidence to support this claim. Sure do. Good. The less investigation we need to put into this, the faster I can prepare the broadcast. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. I don't suppose I do. <laughs> I figured as much. Maybe your friend here would care to comment? She would not. The friend has no comment. I see. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Justice! Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. Okay. I think I have a story I for Nadia. Yeah. reliable source of news in the settled system. Yeah, the scow was I already interviewed an ex-pirate about the robbery. Than light. But she was as reliable as good coffee around here. So you were there when it went down? What were you doing there? Robbing it. <laughs> I was making delivery. Wrong place, wrong time. Why do I get the feeling you're often in that situation? Don't know what you're talking about. Tell me about this Captain <clears throat> Petrov. I've heard he's a bit of an eccentric. He sure was. What was your impression of him? Uh, hoarder and like to collect anything strange or unusual. I would have loved to have seen it. I'm sure it would make a good story right there. No one seems to know exactly what was stolen, but everyone agrees it was valuable. Care to shed some light on it? Uh, I don't think I should get her give her a giraffe. Sure, right. Try again. What was stolen? Tell the truth, it's actually huge. I had emerald eyes, it was the craziest thing. I... Huh. I guess it takes all types? Last question. About, and I'm quoting, a zoo gone wild. The other source swore up and down that alien creatures got out of their cages and went on a rampage. Please, please, please tell me she was telling the truth. It's got to be some aurora-induced hallucination. Yeah, she's telling the truth. 100% correct. Some days, it is worth it to get out of bed. I love it. <laughs> this is just a plain old good story. Check the news feed for it later. And here's your payment. I couldn't tell them about the artifacts. You talk and get paid. I okay, we don't have to grind. Uh, skill points. Do we want to spend? I think I've got a point for marksmanship, right? I could do that. Can I do sniper cert? No. But sniper cert is someone that I really want to level up. Do I want marksmanship to max out, really? I mean, I want the crit chance, yeah. I don't really care about this, I would say. We definitely want to level up both of those. Oh, did I get this for free? Oh, no, not persuasion. No, we already have persuasion. Oh, yeah, we got this for free, though. We got manipulation for free. Oh, we... Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Considering we're <laughs> seven points short of actually getting anywhere near there. Yeah, sweet. Um... <clears throat> I kind of want to save points for these, to be honest. We don't... It, it, in a lot of ways, it makes no sense. Because we just don't use the ship that often, you know, to warrant doing this. But... When we do use it, I want to feel like a beast. <laughs> so... I don't know. There's only a few more skills that I really want. Like, Neon is super for want, so. and decadence. Disgusted and impressed. One day, Andresia, you're just gonna chill and let go, and we're gonna have a hell of a night, I tell you. Whee! I kind of want to put points in boost back as well. Yeah. We're at that point now. I can ju I can put a point in boost back now and feel okay about it. You know what I mean? 
<clears throat> Where's my coffee? Oh. I don't really drink hot drinks. Doesn't matter how hot the temperature is. It's actually a thing in that we should drink hot drinks in the summer and cold drinks in winter. Because um, of how your body thermal regulates. And what you want to do to actually cool down is to bring your internal body temperature closer to your external body temperature. So your uh, thermal regulation. Masako, let's chat. Lots to talk about here. I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. Yeah, yeah. Uh... If only intent mattered. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. And yet not useful enough to avoid a body count? Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes, thank you. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barron for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom. So this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Asian buys Infinity, no one loses their job. Quite right. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. I suppose it is all very simple when you do not consider the impact on actual human lives. Just your bottom line. Love you, Andresia. <laughs> Here I thought Ragen might be doing the right thing for once. It is the right thing for Ryujin, which is why I'd like you to talk <clears throat> to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. Huh. I'm not going to use the neural lamp, co workers. Fine. Whether or not you use the internal neural lamp is up to you, but I still want results. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. I didn't take a screenshot again. I'm a fool. What am I going to do for the fun now? This place is incredible. I can't believe we made it up here. This could be the most important meeting in my career. Oh, well, I thought they were all in the meeting, but they're, they're all over the bloody place. So I've got to lobby them for the Neuro Amp and own. for Infinity Limited. Okay, now let's um, swap over to our business suit. She gave me a hippo lighter. Yeah. 20% persuasion chance. So we've got plus 30 at the moment. Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? 
I think we both know that's not going to work. Oh, I don't know about that. If you inquired Infinity Limited, you save jobs. It's good public perception. Our public perception is good enough. If you ask me, reaching out to save Infinity just makes us look weak. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. Oh, Ulari, if only you knew. I'm not using it on anyone to the monster value. Good. If you use that neuroamp wisely, <laughs> it will guarantee that Infinity gets shut down. Listen to reason, Ulari, you know it's the right choice. Um... Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to use the amp, though. Oh, I guess. Uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good, and we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around, as long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind. This should make for an interesting meeting. Speaking of, I plan on bringing up the internal neuroamp as an issue. An issue? That would be a foolish move. Dalton and Alexis are the only two against it. You'd never get the rest to shut it down. Okay, now this is good. We can we can get them to buy Infinity, which is good, because it saves some people's jobs. Like, even if they fire some people, at the end of the day, otherwise they're all going to get fired. And we can kill the neuroamp, hopefully. Dangerous indeed. For all I know, you're using it right now. The irony. Perhaps I didn't see it earlier, but you're right. The moment a competitor reverse engineers Vina's work, it'll be chaos. The last thing I want is to have my brain scrambled because some engineer didn't do their due diligence. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. All right, cool. One down. This is this is. Look, we're not we're not screwing over Asian in the way that I wanted, but at least we're gonna hopefully. Um, Vina's gonna be hard to con convince, I think. At least we can do some good. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Uh, feel great. Uh, not here to talk about health. Oh well, at least tell me what you think of the neuroamp. It's evil. No one should have this power. I hope you're not actually suggesting that the technology I spent years working on and perfecting never sees the light of day. Mm. This is groundbreaking work. My life's work. You're a scientist. Hear me out. Look at it from every angle. Fine. Fine. Make your case. <clears throat> Manipulation. The moment the internal neuroamp falls into the wrong hands, all hell will break loose. Yeah. I really didn't think this through, did I? <laughs> One line and well, this conversation it's your life's made work. me feel like a proper monster. You are a monster, Vina. you're right. In a perfect world, tech like this is used for good. But this world is far from perfect. I'm sorry, how do you ever use a tech like this? For what possible context is there to use this tech for good? You're not a monster, you got lost in the excitement of something new. It is. It really is. For years, my only focus has been, is this possible? And then, how do I make it work? I never stopped to consider if it was right, or what it would mean. I guess it'll be up to a vote either way. It's not on the meeting agenda, so I assume you'll bring it up yourself? Mm -hmm. We just have to hope the others will see reason. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? You're meant to quote Jurassic Park here. You're so preoccupied with whether you could, you didn't consider whether you should. Uh, if we acquire them, it'll be fun to see how they try to recreate your work. Exactly. N not that I want to gloat over it. Maybe just a little. Okay, so Demarcus and I have really been looking forward to it. So fingers crossed this deal goes through. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. Okay, I only need four votes for the direction I want, right? The seven people, you know. Ah, uh, Genevieve. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? It depends whose side you're on. Well, you can let Masako know to rest easy. It just so happens that her agenda lines up with mine. But does it line up with mine? You just need to grab <laughs> Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, it's going to look good for us. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. 
Uh, you know, if you want to get this one big thing to consider. All right. I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done. Qualified or not. So let's hear it. Let's turn on no ramp. We should be banned. The possible backlash on tech like this is not lost on me. However, the internal neuroamp will define the next era of tech, with Ryujin at the forefront. It's not an opportunity you just walk away from. You'll never be able to fight off the amount of moral backlash. You're right. The moment you violate your customer's trust, there's a good chance they'll never come back. Even worse, you push them into the hands of your competitors. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an <clears> operator. <throat> good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. And Tracy didn't like that. Is it because I used manipulation? Oh, oh excuse me, excuse <clears throat> At least if you're here, you're not screwing up out there. Thanks, Alexis. <sighs> Great, the bane of my department. <laughs> if you need something... I just quick. killed a few people. Get over it. Heard you're not a fan of acquiring Infinity Limited. You heard correct. I've every reason to believe that Infinity LTD is the Pandora's box of corporations. In that you... What? <laughs> You open it and then all hell breaks loose? All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. Tell me why Infinity's a good asset. Tell me why. The business benefits far away any legal issues and credits are king. When it comes to profit, I suppose all my arguments do fall short. Lovely. Persuasion again. You can't tell me that negotiating an airtight deal doesn't appeal to you. If it was Ooh, anyone ow. other than Infinity... I assure you it would. I thought those were guaranteed to work, you know. Manipulation, you don't really want to put thousands out of a job, do you? One thing I definitely know is that you... How did that fail? <laughs> Bear with me. I'm, I, I'm safe coming this one. I'm really surprised that didn't work. Look at my beautiful ship. God, I want that thing back. I think the bay is a problem with the size of the ship and not the type of bay. If it's still not working, we'll have to, we're going to swap back. All right, I'm really surprised that didn't work. If only there were more hours in... <sighs> you heard correct. All right, I could... Have ah! you been spending too... <laughs> I do cry <pride> myself. <laughs> I'm finding myself unable to disagree. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. <laughs> Bloody no. Uh, internal neuro if you want a real Lego nightmare, I'd say that internal neuro ramp fits the bill. Don't even get me started. Okay, she's on board already. First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. I would never. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. All right, good. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. Well, that is one very clear position. Agreed. Well, I'm both glad and surprised to hear the one person who has one say that. Masako's lucky to have you at her disposal, even if you are a continual thorn in my side. <laughs> so rude. You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful. But now, I really do need to get back to my notes. Your big flirt, Alexis. All right, five down, two to go. I'm glad we're making an effort in our appearance today. <laughs> Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Happy to help. Good. I prefer first-hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? I mean, they seemed like lovely people. Uh, if we can save the jobs of thousands, we should do it. Saving the jobs of thousands is altruistic, which is not a luxury corporations have. It's a financial burden. It would be a huge undertaking on my part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> we 
You get employees on the finish of him. This is true. Right, okay, I've got, I've got to, oh, for God's sake. She doesn't like it when I'm using manipulation. Now, I thought that manipulation was the skill and not, um, uh, you know how sometimes like it'll say, oh, commerce or sneak or whatever, but it seems that it's tied to, um, it's tied to the neuro amp thing and Andresia dislikes it every time I use it and I don't want this Andresia to keep disliking me. So I'm going to redo that without using manipulation, hopefully. We'll just use Persuade instead. Um, <clears throat> I'll I'll go through this one again that we've just done. Next video, we'll finish this off and uh, carry on with our lives. I'll see you lovely folks then. Thanks for joining me. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.